The next system that we're going to take a look at here in the MSU Clarksville research site is the Super Slender Axe. This was a training system that was developed by Stefano Musaki in uh, Bologna, Italy. Very simple pruning system, very radical actually. Uh, the focus is to plant the trees very close together and to annually prune these trees uh, with every single branch being pruned so the trees maintain a very close spacing. And the unique pruning habit gives us a very uh, narrow fruiting site at the base of every new shoot will be the only site where the, the flowers are born. So unlike most training systems where I need loppers to do my annual pruning, we're going to be able to do our annual pruning with uh, hand pruners here. We'll take a look at this up close in a moment. I'm going to look for the flower buds at the base of each branch. Then I'm going to look for one or two or three vegetative buds just beyond those flower buds and that's where I'll make my cuts. So we make a cut very shortly here leaving two vegetative buds, two vegetative buds, two vegetative buds, flowers at the base and you can see how we very quickly can go through here I've got a couple of extra flowers Very quickly we can go through and uh, shorten this tree right up. The only reason I would need loppers is to get the very tops that I can't reach. And we just maintain the same pruning up there. And there we're done. That tree is burning. We leave the terminal. We've developed each of our fruiting units. Uh, the vegetative buds that we leave will create the leaf area that supports those flowers. And that's why we need a very high density system. Planted very close, uh, very simple, but um, quite interesting. So we're looking up close at the SSA training system. These are Benton cherries on Gisela 3, a very dwarfing rootstock. The SSA flowers form at the base of last year's shoots, and we renew those shoots. I'm going to cut this oddball flower off here to a vegetative bud. So this will be our fruiting site. We have three clusters of flowers. Hopefully they set. We have three clusters of fruit and a new shoot will grow from this vegetative point to support the development of those fruit. The other side of this branch we have three or four clusters of flowers, a vegetative bud, make the cut there to regrow that bud. So this is our leaf area and this will be our new fruiting area. You can see where we made that cut last year we had fruit at the base and the new shoots grew out from where I left two vegetative buds. We look up here at this one, we can see flowers and a vegetative growing point. So this was a spur. Here we have flowers, flowers, could be flowers, vegetative point. And I'm going to leave two vegetative buds here to uh, create two new shoots to support these leaves. We do this over the course of the entire tree so the tree remains very narrow and we have largely 90% population of fruit coming from the bases of the new shoots that are grown.